There we go. All right, everybody. Well, hey, welcome to Note Night in America. Hey, welcome. Happy Monday evening. Hope you are rocking it out there for those that are joining us live here in the webinar, those that are joining us live also on YouTube. We are excited to have you and I've got some great stuff to be talking about tonight. But literally, the topic for tonight before we dive into is are you effable? Now, let's not go to the gutter like some people did. Uh, you're going to love what we talk about here tonight. We've got a very special guest in a few minutes to bring on to talk about how to help you get more funding and if you're more fundable out there. But we'll get to that in just a second. But first and foremost, if this is your first time on Note Night in America, we're excited to have you. We've got a variety of uh, people on the call here with us tonight. We have obviously Note and real estate investors. We have people interested in notes. We have, uh, as always, I've hit the record button. So they're recorded. So if you've got to step away, if something pops up, don't worry, don't flip out. You can catch the replay. The replays are always available on our YouTube channel as well. As we're live streaming it there, we encourage you to ask questions. We'll be glad. I'll be checking back and forth on those. Whoops, phone's ringing there. Uh, be glad to jump back and forth and ask questions live tonight with our special guest as you have them. Uh, as always, you can always go and catch out weclosenotes.tv for all our videos, our uh, huge wealth <laughs> and vault of different videos, coaching calls, and podcasts out there as well but we'd like to make sure that you subscribe while you're there so you get alerted of all the newest videos that, that we record and post up there for you. You can also listen to the Note Night in America on its own special iTunes or podcast we have across different platforms. Uh, excited that we uh, just hit a button, 20,000 downloads of the Note Night in America podcast just recently, which is pretty exciting. Uh, it's not the main podcast we have, but it, we use it to provide you the opportunity to be able to listen to this wherever you're at. And literally, Excited. I was actually listening to a couple episodes on a plane last night from Vegas, just coming in and caught up, seeing how everything was going and, and make sure it sounds good for you. But we're excited tonight, everybody. As always, would really highly, uh, if you love Note Night in America, looking for more information on note investing, check out the Note Closer Show podcast. We're at 400 plus episodes, 200,000 plus downloads. We just went over 228,000 downloads today. Love for you to review it. Give me a five star rating and subscribe. But it is also available across 30 different platforms for uh, podcasting as well as all the smart TV channels out there. But there's lots of great content, interviews, guests, vendors. We have just a huge gamut. Actually, in February, we're going to be breaking down a lot of case studies in February. So looking forward to that as well. And as always, guys, as we come to the end of January here, um, you want to take advantage. If you've ever want to get published or be a best-selling author, now's your time. Well, we've got the Loan Tales book that we started. I announced a few weeks ago. Excited the people that are signing up. We've, like I said, we got about 10 chapters left available for you. If you're doing anything in the note business, this is a book that's focused on different aspects of notes, whether it's originating notes, doing owner financing, or buying non-performing first or seconds, or buying uh, doing partials or uh, performing or non-performing. If you've bought a deal on notes, we'd love to feature you in the book. 50 chapters, 50 case studies. And then we're going to do blitzkrieg this thing all across not only the internet, but to my huge list of asset managers out there, literally case studies out there. We're also going to create some opportunities for you guys to be marketing that. You'll be able to have a, be a guest on the Note Closer Show. We're going to be promoting this across all social media channels as well to help you drive traffic to you as well. Like I said, uh, well, who wouldn't want to have their story in front of a, a 5,000 asset managers or shared at different real clubs, meetings, or conventions that we go to out there as well. Like I said, it's well affordable. We had a guy on the other night said, wow, 2000 bucks is what he paid. I have paid $10,000 for some chapters, some different books uh, that were a little bit broader, but this is note-focused. Don't know of any other book that's like this out here. It's five nine per chapter. Like I said, there's actually only 10 chapters left. <coughs> if you're interested, go to loantails.com, get signed up there tonight, $5.99. Reserve your chapter before it gets done because we'll start sending out emails to those that have signed up already, giving them their date, their homework, giving them the links to get start, basically help them write their chapter. Uh, 
you know, the thing you got to keep in mind, everybody is, I know not everybody's a great writer. That's why we've got some great things lined up to help those that need some help telling their story. So Laura Blanc, thank you. Love to have you. Can't wait to hear a little bit more about your story, your case study. So anyway, uh, any questions before we dive into our main speaker, our main guest tonight? Any questions? We do have our first workshop of the year. Not this coming weekend, but next weekend. Obviously, this weekend Super Bowl weekend, but following weekend on the – no, I'm sorry. The uh, 15th, 16th, and 17th, Valentine's weekend. What am I thinking? Super Bowl's this weekend, a week off, and then we have our workshop in two weeks. But you guys are in store for a really exciting thing tonight. So I'm going to bring him back on. I'm going to unmute him. I'm going to start his video up there. Join it's hard, to, it, from it's hard cold, to mute me. Tundra of Salt Lake City. Uh, is there he is how you doing how you doing how's it going everybody i was gonna say it's really hard to mute me regardless right so <laughs> <laughs> it is well you and i both have a big personality are both a little loud which is okay right uh, one might agree one might agree so well done well, for those that don't know who you are, Mary, why don't you take a few minutes to share who you are, or unless you've got that in your PowerPoint presentation, is a slide or two? Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, I'll start now. Uh, my name is Merrill Chandler, the founder and CEO of Credit Sense. Um, and some people put a little line in the Credit Line Sense. We're going to be talking about um, the how to become, how to un uh, unf yourself, and. Uh, we're and no offense is intended. We're we're playing uh, above the belt here, but um, I've been doing this for 25 years, and we're we're going to be talking about exactly a whole new thing. For those of you who see me, do not leave. So many of you, I've always offered five thousand to twenty-five thousand dollar coaching packages, and I'm telling you, if you guys watch with me tonight, I'm going to show you how you can literally become get. Everything that I that uh, everything that I have to the uh, the 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 process for becoming fundable is going to I'm offering that to you tonight for yeah it's insane so just stay with me even if you've seen me before we're going to be talking about some things that I've never presented so it's going to be awesome yeah I'm excited because every time I listen to your, your session you always bring something new you're always adding something so. Highly encourage you if you've heard Caught Merrill at uh, any note events or REI expos or things like that, stick around because literally there's nuggets he's going to be providing tonight. We were talking beforehand over the last couple of weeks and new presentation, tweaking it up. And they have made, you've made some amazing changes uh, in 2019 with what Credit Sense is helping and helping a lot of people get some things done. So we're able to get to so many more people now rather than our kind of uh, our client base. I, I want to create it, uh, just a mass movement of people who know how to become fundable. Perfect. Well, hey, man, I will sh I will sit here. If you want to share your screen, dive into it. And then what I'm going to do. Is that shared? Can you see it? Uh, turn off my video, but I'll be listening here. I'll mute myself. As people ask questions, if they're relevant, do you want me to interrupt you or wait till the very end? To yeah. To um, no, let's let's. Um, we could collect them if we want, but I'm but I'm saying that there is so much to be able to um, – the talk about where is my present? There it is, my present. Yeah, hit share screen first. You gotta hit your share share screen. Oh, share there. We're going. Hold it. Where the wicked is it? So okay. So I'm sharing my screen. Yeah. Uh, do you see the, the Teresa up at the top right? Yeah. And, and the bottom right. Okay. So now, can you see the big red letters? Yes. Awesome. All right, let's let's take off, guys. The, uh, just like Scott has said, no no offense is intended. By the by, the way, um, I, I by the first quarter I will be coming out with my book that of this title. This is kind of my first public appearance where I'm where I'm announcing I'm I'm through it enough to know that it is going to be um, on deck and. Uh, and uh, ready for the printers before end of first quarter. But are you effable or just effed? And we're going to discuss that tonight. Uh, but as some of you may know, and some of you may not, ultimately what we're discussing is, 
if you are effable, if you are fundable, then we're going to talk about how we can create these the, these very um, the, the, the funding secrets that are going to let you tap into millions of dollars in business lines of credit. No joke, guys. Business lines of credit where we're going to be able to qualify and know how the rules of the game are played. Because can you win a game if you don't know the rules? Is it is it even remotely possible? I propose that it's not. <clears throat> so what first thing I'm committed to tonight is I'm committed to help you fund your dreams. Guys, we don't buy notes. We don't do real estate just to get our jolly. Sometimes it's the most nerve wracking thing that we could possibly do. It's highly rewarding because it gives us the money that we can do the things we love to do the projects and the passion projects, the, the callings, our vocations. It gives us opportunity and time freedom to do the things that we want to do. Funding other people's money is the number one key to get us there. And so what our next play is for us is that my number one goal is so that you learn how to play this game like a pro. The funding game, guys, this is not a pickup game at the rec center. This is the NBA championships. And you have, there are players out there, the banks, the credit bureaus, FICO, they are all pros. And you and I, what if we're not quite playing pro yet? We're going to be discussing what that looks like and how to play the funding game like a pro. I'm going to show you how to flip on the money switch so that you can do exactly the lowest possible money without having to sell your soul. And next, you're going to also, I'm going to show you three secrets that you do those secrets just like other entrepreneurs, just like you have done before you. You can take down any day deal by writing a check. How many of us would like a show of hands? How many of us would like to write a check and do a deal? Right? So yes, that's what we're talking about. You don't have to go to anybody else for permission. You just make that happen. So I have done a few things right in my life. I built my first tech empire by the time I was 27 and I fixed and uh, flipped my first $100,000 profit house. I was in California, first $100,000 profit house by the time I was 29 and accumulated the same period over $3 million in properties. The cool thing was, is I also learned, that's where I first got the experience of getting $100,000 business lines of credit. I know from personal experience what that takes, and we're gonna be talking about how you can do it. Tonight, you're walking away from this with actionable intel, guys, that you can apply when you get off the uh, off the, the web class, the webinar tonight, all right? Now, one of my major achievements was I co-founded Lexington Law Firm. Some of us know a friend who's had uh, credit problems and may have gone to Lexington. But regardless of your experience there, I, I left them uh, back in 97 because I had found that credit repair does not a, a fundable profile make. You cannot repair your way to fundability or to good credit. So I started, when I discovered this at Lexington, I, I started a 20 year journey to reverse engineer the fundable, fundability guidelines from FICO, from the lenders. I studied over 10,000 credit profiles. Do you know how much 10,000 credit profiles are guys? And as I developed this, I called this process fundability optimization. I left Lexington to, to, to create a, this process and make borrowers fundable, and I found a credit sense to actually deliver it. Now, I've also had a few failures, guys, and these failures are not small ones. One of the, probably my biggest personal funding wall that I ran into, where I had a perfect opportunity to take my software online and give my clients access to this software so they could optimize at 11 o'clock at night when my team wasn't even available. Well, I applied for a full doc loan with my credit, crazy good credit. I've been, well, by this time, I'd already been doing this for 20 years of the 25 years I've been in this business. I could, I, they rejected me. They didn't even tell me why I got rejected. Now, remember, I, at this time, was a master of the universe of personal credit optimization, how to get build 800 plus profiles and how to always get a yes, no matter what lender you went to. So I knew there had to be a key to 
to unlocking business funding because I just had a massive failure. And I don't know about you, but if I'm coming up against something that there's a wall, I'm going to climb that thing and I'm going to figure it out. Well, in my research of, of underwriting and trying to figure out wh how to wh what business credit was based on, I come across a thing called FICO World. Now, FICO World is where all the credit geeks gather. Think of it as the Mount Olympus of the credit gods. They all get together learning how to uh, better protect banks' money, right? And I'm thinking, this would be amazing. So we applied and were accepted to go to um, FICO World. And at the end of the first day, I had a chance of a lifetime. I don't know if you guys had uh, epiphanies in your space, but I had the chance to meet Will Lansing, who was the CEO of FICO, Fair Isaac Corporation. And I'm like, this is amazing. He sits down and asks me, what's your business model? And I said, we make borrowers more fundable. And he goes, you know, that would be a good thing for my clients. His clients are lenders. All lenders are looking for fundable clients, people who are uh, 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 who are paying attention and being a good credit risk, right? So he said, let me have you talk to my score development teams and both personal and business, right? And this was so powerful that they made me sign an NDA saying that I could not share in public venue the details of this conversation. And I got to ask 100 questions of the FICO's uh, processes. They didn't answer every one of them to the nth degree, but I got so much more wow. tactical intel. Truly the stuff of which our credit applications are made of. So many things. That some of them we're, we're going to cover tonight. But the, the liaison, the business credit liaison said one thing that changed everything for me. He said that you have to opt 80% of approvals of small business and entrepreneurial um, businesses come from a qualified uh, personal credit profile. Comes from your personal credit, right? But it has to be optimized for business business loans, business funding, it has to be opt. And all of a sudden that the domino started to fall for me. It was the greatest thing because I knew so much already, but I didn't know about business. And when they said optimize for business, I started doing the math and, and magic happened. Now, just like you guys being here in this, uh, in this venue, things happen for a reason. I'm firm believer in it. And just like you're sitting here learning this tech, I was sitting there learning this tech. I'm, I'm no different than you other than a few steps ahead, right? And those steps ahead gives me a chance to ask questions and try things out before I pass it along to you. Well, we came home and we implemented our, uh, our game plan. We had, we broke the formula down into it's easy to implement steps. We created software and systems that ex that to do all the heavy lifting, right? And we found the technical expertise to do it. I invested two years and hundreds of thousands of dollars, and I built a system that existed nowhere else. And the thing was, is that was tons of data, data processing, data processing, data processing, data processing so many complicated algorithms that we got to, to do. But the amazing thing was, it started creating results. Nice. And we, uh, we found that every time somebody implemented it, they got approved. The process was easy, but here's the crux. Pay attention to that fourth bullet. There is automatic underwriting and there is automatic limit increases. The entire process that FICO deve is developing with all the business lenders out there is to not have human eyes on the application. Are you hearing me? They lose money every time a human being picks up a credit app and checks your credit report. And we'll discuss in great detail how this how this works and how we can hack this system, right? I, no joke. So... It was so successful that it automatic. How many of you? How many of you have had a, a, a an email or a letter come from your lender saying, "Congratulations, we just raised your credit limit five hundred bucks, or a thousand bucks, or five thousand bucks." Anybody out there? How many of you had that? It happens all the time. The thing is, is you don't know 
why it's happening. And don't say because I pay my bills. We'll cover that in a minute. There's 40 things that FICO measures, not one. Paying your bills on time just keeps you out of trouble. It keeps you with good credit. There are 39 other ways that they're measuring. So the, this automatic underwriting and these limit increases, now imagine, let's say you had two or three or five business lenders and you had two or three or five credit lines, one with each of these credit lenders. What if each one of those were $20,000, $50,000? And what if automatic limit increases just raise those limits just like your credit cards? Would that be okay with you guys? Would it be okay to have two, $300,000 and you just know how to hack the system so that they continue to raise those limits just like they're raising your personal credit? Would that be okay? Would that be all right? Well, Amen. let me tell you, let me share with you an individual who is actually a note buyer. She's an amazing woman, Teresa. And this is what she had to say in her own words. Yeah, we're not hearing it, unfortunately, Meryl. Oh, you're not here. Okay, hang on just a sec. I'm escaping. I'm going to say you have to hear this, guys. This is amazing. And let's go to, let's cue. This is important enough to stop uh, what we're doing <laughs> because you have to hear in your own, in her own words exactly what this looks like. So here we go. been helping me with my business line of credit for our cyber analytics and I just wanted to let you know that the bank person just left my office and I just finished signing the paperwork on a $500,000 unsecured line of credit. So I just wanted to call and let you know. I'm very excited. So I'll talk to you soon. Okay, guys. Nice. That that's that's a voicemail that one of my one of my clients, one of my funding for me clients left with us five hundred thousand dollars and she, I, and all she did was align her personal and business credit profiles to match lender guidelines it, it, it was a stated income loan guys stated income I, it's just it, it still befuddles me it's just so amazing how this works oh there she goes so bottom lining this thing guys after 20 years i discovered that you just like i did i i believed all of these things many most of you have three limiting beliefs that are not true amen but we're gonna cover them one most investors believe that you need full documentation to get approved from banks top tier lenders or you have to suffer with soul killing alternative lenders. How many of you have been using private money and been using hard money lenders to do your deals because you believe you need full documentation? Guys, it is no longer true. Most Number two, most investors believe that business credit is based on your business. And I already told you, FICO told me that 80% of business decisioning is on, based on your personal. And three, most investors don't have a clue how business credit works. And so we're susceptible to credit card stacking or being manipulated or business credit schemes that not only don't work, but they hurt your credit in the long term, right? Now, I discovered all of this the hard way, guys. I built that system, all that database stuff I showed you. I worked my hindquarters off to, to make a system that was implementable, but now you get to cheat and you get the easy way. And what is the easy way that gives you access to cheap and easy bank money, top tier bank money? Well, the experience we've had in the last three years is that I've helped real estate investors and entrepreneurs, note buyers just like you, obtain over $31 million in approvals. This is from people who implemented the 
um, f the funding formula, the million dollar funding formula process. All right. So let's go. Let's go here. Are you ready for the secrets? I want to show you the three secrets that I talked about, and we'll kind of do a deeper dive into, into, into them. First of all, secret number one, if you know the rules, you can ethically hack bank underwriting systems for up to a million dollars in cheap and easy bank money. Now, why do I say um, uh, up to a million dollars? Because FICO's scoring system told straight from the from the mouth of the business credit folks at, um, at, at uh, FICO that FICO SBSS, Small Business Scoring Service, will register up to a million dollars in, in actual automatic underwriting. Automatic underwriting up to a million dollars. OK, so that's why we cut it off. For those of you who've met me at the events, we also have million dollar bills. So it's awfully convenient just to call it a million. As you'll see later, we've got clients who've gone over that. Now, what that means is FICO, as I said a moment ago, FICO measures 40 characteristics of your profile. Paying your bills just keeps you out of bad, bad credit line, uh, credit land. You need to to know what those things are. And we hack every one of these. We literally hack what those, those criteria are that shape the behavior that gets you approved. If you knew how to, uh, uh, to, to behave with your credit, would it be pretty easy to implement? Well, Dennis thought so. He said, thank you for coaching me on how to make my business a fundable and how and what questions to ask the banks. By following your instructions, I received $150,000 in unsecured business lines of credit. First round of funding. Now, how many of you could do more right now if you only had 100, not a million, $150,000? How many of you could do more than you're doing right now with just 150? Fair? Okay. So, secret number two. When you clone a qualified funding entity, underwriting software is designed to approve you. Listen to that carefully. Underwriting software is designed to see a business and approve all the right metrics. It's nice. just math, guys. It's just it's it's data sets and math. I know it's boring as hell for some of you, but if we know those rules, we can get funded. In fact, Steve B and his wife said, over the last 30 days, we've raised $110,000 in our business name. But we optimized their personal profile to make it happen. This would not have worked unless we used the strategies we were taught by you in setting up the funding entity. We had a total of three lenders loan the money and they all asked different questions during underwriting. But between all three, they hit every strategy that you laid out in setting up the perfect business profile. There is a perfect business profile. Now, the cool thing is, it can this 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 hack can work with uh, it can work with most businesses. And if you don't have a fundable business per se, the strategy will work. But everybody can have a fundable business entity. Sometimes it's a square peg in a round hole and we just have to work out the details, but nothing is in the way, all right? And that, number three, my third secret is optimizing your personal credit profile to fit business lender guidelines will transform it into a business funding machine. Now, what do we mean by that? Let me do a little deeper dive. This, this right here that you see on your screen is, is right off of FICO's website, selling to lenders. And basically what they're saying is that using your internal performance data, what is internal performance data? We're talking to the lender now. They're saying those things that the lender is, is, is um, measuring with you and I, what are, how many times do we have a bounce check? How, what, what's our account balances? When do we pay, when do we pay on our, uh, on our cards and our loans? All of that performance data is, is measured. And then it's used to automatically drive activities like automating your credit lines. Are you, are you following me here? When we, so if we know what the performance data is, then we know how to raise the credit lines. You with yeah. me? It's just math. So Chad had the very that very same experience. He said, the Credit Sense team has been incredible to work with. I followed their instructions and did all the things they told me to do, and the results have been amazing. I now have an 800-plus credit score. 
up from less than 500. I was just approved for 80 grand, first round, 80 grand, and I uh, uh, unsecured business line from Wells Fargo Bank, guys. Okay. My wife and I can't thank Credit Sense enough for everything they've done for us. Guys, how many of us could use 80,000 as a first round of fun? If it, what if that were just one bank and you had two or three or five or 10 more to, to work with? Would that be okay with you? Would that be okay? Right? So, pretty cool, right? Anybody, anybody with me? Is this ringing anybody, anybody's bells? Is bells it are feeling? going off, Meryl. Bell, What's that? So, let's, so let's make sure, make sure you, if they're giving me thumbs up and stuff, I want to know, uh, Scott, so that I can, I can uh, keep our, uh, keep our, uh, our, uh, our viewers um, super dialed here. So, if, if you did what I'm teaching you, if you knew what it took to ethically hack the bank underwriting systems and clone a highly fundable entity and convert, transform your personal profile into that funding machine, do you think you could be successful? What, do you think you could get twenty, fifty, eighty thousand dollars if you did just what you know so far? Does that make sense? Do you think this could could just very well apply to you. Well, imagine then that you have four banks with 50,000 each, two banks with 100,000 each, eight banks with $25,000 each. What if you had 200,000 and you could just transfer that money into your checking account or write a check straight from the line and do any deal? Would that, would that be okay with you? What would that do for your life? How would it change? Ex what you're doing, just $200,000. How would that change what you're doing and how you're doing it, right? So, huh, I, I love this picture of Jack. <laughs> <laughs> how many of you are excited about what we're talking about? G give give Scott little hellos or thumbs up on the on the webinar. How, how, how are you feeling? How many of you are excited about what we're talking about? They're raising their hands. They're good. They're excited. How many of you are feeling a little overwhelmed? Now, uh, bless Scott's heart, man. We've been doing this for uh, several years now. And every time I do a presentation, it is like drinking out of a fire hose. I will not apologize for it because I can deliver, as long as we record it, I can deliver more content per minute than anybody else on, 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 on the lineup so yeah. how many of you are feeling a little overwhelmed just like i said at the beginning if you will stay to the end i'm going to give you something not only not available anywhere else but it is going to blow your mind i i i've never offered this before until recently and it's just going crazy about how we can deliver all of this technology to you all right so to get there is it okay with you if I spend just a few more minutes going over a special offer I created for entrepreneurs, note buyers, you, all you great people out there? Is it okay to help you understand how to implement the funding formula? Would that be all right? Be Anybody? Great. Okay. So what I'm offering you is instead of anything else, tonight I am saying, why don't we do a two-day boot camp intensive? February 9th and 10th, either in person in Salt Lake City or online. And what if during that two days, I gave you the fire hose of all the things you need to become, to set yourself up for long-term fundability? What if you became fundable at the end of this two days? You think you're getting actionable intel now. Wait till I give you just the whole gambit. We're going to talk about transforming your personal credit into the goose delays golden eggs and create personal business credit profiles that trigger the approvals. Remember those underwriting triggers? How to transform your profile into the ideal fundable profile and how to use the velocity of credit. Guys, velocity of credit, mad, mad cool. Day two, how to determine to, between real and fake business credit offers, how to ethically hack FICO funding algorithms for higher approvals. Don't just get a five or a 10, get a 20 or a 50 in your first, uh, in your first disbursement of funds. How to perform a forensic audit. We're literally going to sit down in this, in this thing, guys, and we're going to 
audit your personal, your profile and your business to see how fundable you are and, and th have the steps you need to get out of whatever hole you're in or double or triple your capacity than it is right now and how to pass a 30 minute uh, underwriting. Now, this has worked for the whole gamut of people. On entrepreneurs, including note buyers who are new to the business and people who are experienced in the business. I don't care if you have good credit, bad credit, great credit. It works for everybody because you because fundability is this is a process. And whether you have good or bad credit, it we will make you fundable over time. You will learn every step that you need to take in order for that to happen. And whether or not you have a qualified funding entity or you need to make one or build one from what you've got, that's what you're going to learn at this at this workshop. And finally, you'll be able to stop having deals slip through your fingers. How many of you have lost a deal because you couldn't pull the trigger or you couldn't write the check, right? What about that uncertainty and stress? You're going to you're going to private money lenders. You're trying to you're doing trying to do this on credit cards, personal credit cards. It's ruining your credit. How many of you are tired of chasing money or paying an arm and a leg for 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 private uh, for private money or hard money? I call that body part pricing, by the way, guys. Yeah. When you pay an arm and a leg, it's all body part pricing, right? So, and stop sharing your profits. So, we can stop all of that. That is so, so, so five minutes ago. So, last century, right? It is not, we don't have to do it this way anymore. So, you want to go through step by step? of what we're going to do. And this is where you need to take screenshots, take notes, because I'm going to give you the goods. I'm going to be starting to every one of these bullets that we talked about. I'm going to tell you the, 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 the ice cap version and at the fundability, uh, at the fundability, um, uh, intensive, we're going to go uh, in a deep dive into every one of these. So we're going to show you how to transform your personal credit into the goose lays golden eggs. What do I mean by that? So the goose lays golden eggs is your personal profile, just like FICO told me. And just like you've learned tonight, your personal profile is the goose, but we usually cook the goose and we have one meal, whether it's credit card stacking or some of you, how many of you guys are doing things on your credit? Or you're, you're fixing or flipping or, uh, or, or buying things on your personal credit. Your score goes down, you get rid of the note or the property and the, your score goes back up. That's the worst message you can send a lender is up and down of your credit score. What if we, what if we took care of the goose and we just had all these golden eggs and we did all that heavy lifting over on the business side? You're going to learn about that in day two of the fundability analysis. But the, the, the golden eggs are business credit cards, business credit lines, business loans, hard, hard, your portion of a hard money loan. I'm not against hard money sometimes that we, we only have. 50 grand in our first credit line. So we're able to do our portion and do hard money somewhere else until we have two or 300,000 and we could do it all ourselves. Of course, step your way to it. But that's what I mean by the goose that lays golden. Are we, am I making sense guys? Raise your hand for Scott. It does your personal credit profile has to be taken care of and it will take care of us for the rest of our lives. Let me tell you about Ralph. Ralph knew exactly what to do to cook his golden goose. <laughs> he, he like like many of like many of you, I know a bunch of you have come here. Um, he came to us with a credit profile with 25, 27, 26 personal credit cards on his profile. He just overwhelmed his personal profile because he was told, like many of you, he was told, "Yeah, let's get. I can get you one hundred fifty thousand dollars in the next ninety days um, for for business credit." What they didn't tell you is because since you didn't know the difference, they went and the built all that up on your personal credit profile, killed your goose. Guys, personal credit card stacking ruins your personal credit and prevents you from doing anything else. So here was an implementation plan we that we that we showed. We implemented debt shifting strategies that he learned from the funding formula. You're, you're, you're going to learn the funding formula at the intensive. So he executed balance transfers 
to the right profile enhancing installment loans. So he used uh, installment loans to buy down some of his personal debt. Then he told the installment loans. And then when he qualified, he moved it over to business credit cards. And then he implemented the funding formula so that though, so that he could then take out um, with a takeout loan, he got rid of the property that he was stuck in because as you know, his score went down when he charged his credit cards up and the mortgage company wouldn't talk to him. So we had to use, we had to use personal credit lines and business credit cards to get him out of this process. We call it debt shifting. And it was a three-stage process. Well, here's what he had to say. All I can say is your program is amazing. Your funding formula did as promised. I got $40,000 on two business credit cards and implemented the debt shifting strategy as instructed. My personal score shot up 70 points and now I can move forward with the rest of my funding plan. Pretty cool, right? Come on. How many of you are stuck with a high debt load on your personal because you didn't know otherwise those guys are, are, are the people who helped you get into that situation are either they don't know how to play the game or they're just d downright naughty and that's putting it really really nicely so date uh, so the two-day boot camp intensive february 9th and 10th all you have to do in the privacy of your own pajamas you can sign up for for online we're also going to be talking about creating personal business credit identities that trigger approvals. Now, I'm not going to uh, let me tell you about Andrea and Keith. I, I'm not going to use their information because I'm maintaining privacy, so I'll use mine. But they had the exact similar situation, and you have the exact similar situation as well. Because you don't know the rules of this, guys, just like me, I signed up under Merrill Chandler, Merrill Ray Chandler, Merrill R. Chandler. Well, to as a data set, that's three different people. The credit bureaus are uh, don't know, when, FICO doesn't know which one is that. And so the more unfocused and unclear your identity is, the lower your limits or the, the more your rejections for credit. In fact, before I knew what I was doing, I'd, my, this is from my credit report, I had four name variations and six address variations. All of them, all of them got me totally butchered in, uh, in my fundability and was one of the things that caused me to not be fundable on the business. Because, and I'll show you in a second how that works. But right now, all of those different identities and addresses creates greater funding problems. Now, here's the crazy thing. If you real estate investors have multiple homes, then most of those homes are on your credit report, even if you don't live in them. And so now you're associated with all of these addresses that has to be fixed. We've got to focus in. You're going to learn every step exactly how to do these things. In fact, uh, in fact, um, Andrea and Keith said, Credit Sense has been an integral partner in helping us meet our personal and business needs and patiently guided us through the identity cleanup process, educated and helped us establish better borrowing habits. Guys, the intensive rocks for conveying all of this information. Improved both of our credit scores to over 800 and are helping us increase our personal business credit limits. We would not have accomplished so much in so short a time frame without help from Credit Sense team and we're excited for our business growth to come as a result of their guidance. Again, after the funding formula, they were more fundable. We're also gonna be talking about how to transform your current profile into the ideal profile, right? So. Let me tell you about Joseph. Joseph's classic. Many of us are going to fall into this category. The classic square peg in the round hole. All right. So when Joseph, when Joseph came to us, he thought paying his bills on time got him his 800 plus credit score. But And I said, Joseph, where is the million dollars that comes with that 800 plus credit score? And he goes, nobody will give me any money, but I have it. I have great credit. I have great over and over and over guys over and over just like you I have great credit I have great credit you mean your score is above 750 800 but where's the money show me the money okay if you don't have money I don't care how high your credit score is your credit score is third or fourth in importance to lenders do you realize that and yet we've been sensitized oh I got a great score 
I don't care. So we ran him through the profile optimizer that we do, that we do at the intensive. Okay, his profile opti optimizer, we compared the identity data points, the revolving account portfolio, installment loan portfolio. We, we take a look at the 24 month look back period and look, watch your behavior and see if it's good behavior or bad behavior. And, and you learn how to, to triage all of that, fix it at the intensive. Utilization history, inquiry usage, negative indicators and derogatory accounts. Guys, do you realize that FICO has negative indicators and you don't have to have any bad credit? That's why derogatory accounts is different than negative indicators because they're different. And you can have a, an account can count 50 points for you or only five points for you and still look like a positive account on your credit report. It's crazy when we don't know what's going on. Well, Joseph, after he worked with us, this is what he had to say about fixing his square peg in the round hole. The results I've received from Credit Sense Funding Formula have been amazing. I have raised my credit scores more than 100 points and received a college level education on how to manage and maintain my funding profile. How would you like a college level education on fundability, long term fundability? Every member of my cohort is implementing the funding formula with great results. Credit Sense is the most responsive, most educated, most conscientious, and most caring team I've had the privilege to work with. I would recommend Credit Sense to anyone, and I have. Now, finally, on day on day one, now there's way more than this, but I've only got an hour tonight. So, um, how to use the velocity of credit to to accelerate business lender approvals? Now, Lindsay. What do I mean by velocity of credit? Lindsay came to me and she was like, I want business credit on my business. And I said, Lindsay, business credit does not exist on your business. It exists. 80% of that decision is based on your personal. Yeah, but my personal credit sucks. I want it on my business. I have a really good business. I'm like, great, but your business doesn't tell lenders how you treat money. Does that make sense? Did you hear what I said? Your business, your financials and all that says, says you know how to run a business, but not your attitudes about how you treat other people's money. Your personal credit profile does that. That's why FICO uses it. How you treat money personally is how you're going to treat money in the business. So once you understood that, the velocity of credit means that for every month, and this don't hold me to these numbers, but for every month you spend Working on your personal credit, you get two to three months worth of business funding traction for every month you spend here. So, Teresa, remember the 500000 She said, Marilyn, I just want to do it the right way. We took 14 months on her personal credit to raise her limits so that they look like distinguished limits. So she looked like a professional borrower, uh, not a little uh, high school pickup game, but a NBA player when, when it comes to funding. She took 14 minute, months to reconcile her personal out of the gate, 500 grand, guys, 500 grand. Because the velocity of credit says the more you spend on your personal profile, the faster you're going to get funded, the faster you're going to get to that $100,000 mark on up to 10 banks, right? That's the million dollars. So that is what we mean by that. And she said in her own words, we all know the basics of credit, but do you know the rules on how funding operates? Thanks to Credit Sense and their team of on the ball professionals, I feel like I attended a school of funding knowledge. Now I can effectively move forward with my personal and business credit profiles with confidence. Thanks, Credit Sense. So what if I told you that that in every single thing that we talked about right now, the master that if you go online right now and that creating a qualified funding personal business profile is $1,997. Now, if it costs $1,997 to get your first of five or six or seven, 20, 30, $50,000 credit lines, would it be worth it? Uh, get, thumbs up or thumbs down, guys, to, to Scott. Because no, it's worth it. Is it worth it for $1,997 to learn exactly how to put you in the flow so that you're just catching money as it falls out of the dump truck at the lenders, right? But we're not done. Day two, guaranteeing business funding approvals. Just like pushing dominoes, if you put set the, everything upright, you push one dominoes, they all fall, right? 
but you got to set them up correctly. So let's take a look at the difference between credit and uh, a, a real and fake business credit offers. So Sheena comes to me and she was totally angry at her lenders because she kept applying for business credit and it kept ending up on her personal credit. She goes, no, I got business credit. I got business credit. And I said, Sheena, you do not have business credit. You have poser credit. And she's like, what do you mean? And I said, you have business credit prosers. What business credit is not is that if it reports to your personal credit report, Experian, TransUnion, Equifax, your personal credit report, it is not business credit, guys. Never has been, never will be. Capital One does not have a single true business credit instrument. Spark and all the other ones all report to your personal. How many of you guys have a Spark? You're not, you're not telling me, you're telling Scott. How many of you have a, a, a Capital One that reports to your, your business? And you think you've got a business credit card. It's not true. And it's going towards that whole cooking your goose that lays the golden eggs. Cause you think that you, and I'm not blaming you. Those guys have done a very poor job of training you on how to, to be fundable and how to operate in the business credit land. That's what I'm here for. That's why we've done this, this, this implementation intensive, but Capital One is just contributing to cooking your goose, especially if you think you're you're being good and you're saying, oh, okay, I need to uh, put it on my business card so it doesn't affect my credit, but this shows up on your personal. So you cannot, if it reports on your personal credit profile, guys, it is not business credit. Fair? That right there, that's worth your hour all by itself. That yeah. is worth your hour. You're going to learn how to vet banks to determine whether or not the credit, business credit cards or the business lines of credit report to your personal. You're going to learn it all right there at the intensive. So, you, man, holy hell, that is so easy a math to do, $2,000 to be able to learn all of this stuff. Sheena afterwards said, I was approved yesterday for a $50,000 line of credit and a $5,000 credit card for my business. Finally, she got, she learned what it took and how to make it right. They said it takes about seven days for the credit line to be booked. Now, we're also going to talk about how to ethically hack business funding algorithms. You want to learn business funding algorithms? Because this is cool this is cool. So let me tell you about Noel. Noel comes to us and he is, he is exactly like many of you. He was, he was, he was referred to us from another client and he was like, I'm all in. I really want to, to figure this out. So the first thing, one of the things that he learns in the funding formula that you're going to be learning at the intensive is that the old Paydex score, Dun & Bradstreet Paydex score, antiquated technology guys so old so not it if every dime you've paid towards building a paydex score is meaningless because fico doesn't use paydex what it does is it buys dnb data and blends it with consumer bureau data and then gives you a small business scoring assessment so how does that work well first of all let me show you they start with fico's data and score then what they do and they're just devilish about this it is the coolest thing not from from my side knowing the kind of pulling back the curtain for you guys they check dun and bradstreet and compare the dun and bradstreet identity data and the things you're saying up from your application on the uh, but it's all identity. It's not your trade lines. They're not looking at your business credit cards. In fact, um, uh, in fact, um, Steve from uh, uh, from our FICO liaison actually told us that business credit reporting today, today is what personal credit reporting was in the 80s. They didn't even start announcing until 96. They didn't even start announcing public credit credit scores. It was always in the back in the back office, right? Credit business credit reporting sucks. It is horrible. But what they do capture is the identity data and the business data, not the trade lines. So they use your personal credit 
to see how you treat other people's money, but they verify with Dun Bradstreet your identity and your application data to see if you're full of shite or if you're being honest. Then they check the Experian to do the exact same thing, Experian business and Equifax business. They're just seeing if you're lying on your application. They're not checking your business credit history. All that's coming from my FICO. And then they approve you based on how you, your behaviors on personal data. Guys, that's, that alone is worth the entire time we're spending together to learn that your personal credit profile drives this bus. Everywhere you wanna go in your funding world is based on your personal profile. It just has to be optimized for business borrowing. Does that make sense? Just like we did with Teresa and her 500 grand. All right, the approvals come from your, but the reality checking the data to see if you're lying through your teeth on your business apps. It's awesome and crazy, right? And super, super cloak and dagger. Dagger. Well, Noel afterwards said, with the coaching and support I received from Funding Formula, I was able to get $100,000 in unsecured business credit with full check writing access from the first two banks. Guys, here's how long it took him. He literally called up both banks and they said that his documentation was ready. He drove to one bank, signed the documentation, drove to the next bank, signed the documentation, and there he has it, a hundred grand. Wow. Would a hundred grand be okay with you if you knew how to hack the business funding algorithms for higher approvals? We're not talking fives and tens, guys. We're talking twenties and fifties out of the gate and then how to build from there through the automatic limit increases. So the next thing we're talking about, how to perform a forensic audit to find out where you're succeeding and where you're failing. All right, so ask yourself this question while I talk about Robert. What does it does being unfundable cost you every year? How many notes can't you buy? How many properties can't you flip? How many buy and holds can't you do? What is it costing you? Here's Robert. So Robert was a notorious buy, buy and holder, all right? And so an 800 plus credit profile in when he was doing his credit was um, around four and a half percent. But his profile was about a little between 620 and 630 between all three bureaus, right? So when he got there, he was throwing away $3,000 per year. Problem was he had four properties on his personal credit profile. So that means he was losing because he, and guess why? He didn't have bad credit. He was using his credit for just like many of you for doing the work in the fix and flips or preparing the homes to get rented. And he puts all that on there and he's 620 and he's just lost. He has no idea why this whole system is so messed up. And right now you can already tell him the things we told him. So 12,000, I don't know how much bad credit is costing you or being unfundable because you can be, have good credit, and not fundable, you can have bad credit and not fundable. The goal of the implementation intensive, the entire goal is to make you fundable over the long term, give you every single step you need to take to, to be successful, all right? So with the forensic profile audit, we're gonna be talking about all of these things. I don't wanna to go to every single one of them, but we cover all of these, uh, uh, all of these processes so that you can no, accurate. I don't care. Even if you have an 800 plus credit score, you still have to audit your profile. And we're going to do that audit right there in class together. Okay, cool. Does that work for you guys to actually do all of this in real time? All right. And my team is there. If you're online or if you're in Salt Lake City attending in person, you're going to be, I, I, I invite you to come out, uh, fly in and, uh, and hang out with us for the, for the weekend. Uh, on the 9th and 10th is Saturday and Sunday. But these, many people put in, you know, um, a, a fine print that says these are extraordinary results or not typical. These are typical results, regardless of how you got into the 600s, whether it's bad credit, I don't care if it's 500s or lower, whatever it took you to got there, it, uh, it took Robert 22 months to get here. But those are that profile was now a fundable profile. And what 
uh, what Robert said was the first thing I learned about Crescence is they are not a credit repair company. We're not. We're fundability experts. And whatever's in the way of you being fundable, we will help you work that out. The entire intensive is designed to do every one of those steps. Um, I wasn't sure how optimizing my credit would work, but after hearing such positive results from some of my colleagues, I decided to give them a try. I was immediately impressed in the detail and understanding they have over how credit scores are affected. My results so far have far exceeded my expectations. I highly recommend CreditSense. Thanks, Robert. So the la how to prepare, and now that, look at all the stuff we're doing, how to prepare your business to pass the 30 minute underwriting approvals. The, Derek and Aisha. So they, we are going to do in the two days, we're going to do what I'm about to show you what Derek and Aisha did in their funding formula. First of all, we're going to put you in a, we're going to put you in a metrics between fundable credit at the top or not fundable credit and measure that fundable business on the, on the right, top right, or no business on the bottom left. It doesn't matter where you are on this chart. We want to get to fundability, no money or lots of money, 100% utilization, zero utilization. We're going to find out where you are and start, and you're going to be able to implement the steps from knowing where you are, right? Evaluate your credit profile. We're going to, not your score. I don't care about your score. Don't talk to me about your score. Talk to me about how fundable you are, how much money you're not getting approved. Then we have something we can fix, right? Because Think about it. If you if you believe your high score should make you money, but you're not getting money, what does your high school high score actually mean? It, it it it's worthless until it translates into cold hard cash. We're also going to be looking at your account values. Now, there's 100% tier one, and there's all the way down to tier four, 40% with finance company cards and subprime lenders. You guys are getting. It, we're going to evaluate every single one of your credit reports, and you're going to find out how many how many cards you have, what types of things that they uh, that and create a value in what we call the fundability index. And all of this is right there live, guys, with uh, with coaches there to, to to help and answer your questions. Then we're going to evaluate your business fundability, and we're even going to be able to estimate your timetable mm. based on where you are on the fundability index. All of this is going on right there uh, live in the privacy of your own underwear uh, with the workbook that we send you via PDF, okay? Then, so Derek and Aisha, this is what they said. We did uh, about their funding formula. We did everything you outlined in the funding formula and it worked. We just qualified for a $580,000 unsecured property acquisition business credit line plus 90,000 in other business credit line than credit card. There's nothing in the way of growing our real estate investments the way we've always wanted. How would you guys like to have $670,000 in unsecured credit lines? Okay. So the, this is not out of hand. So day two, if you go to my website right now, day two, that, that second day is worth the master class is $1,997. If did, is it worth $3,994? It is. If all it did was help your real estate investments or note buying to be profitable, would it be worth it? What if it just gave you a kick in the butt and made you accountable to your own goals? Would it be worth it? What if it gave you checks that you could write three to four more deals per month, per year, three to four deals, period. Would it be worth $3,994, right? Well, because you're serious about your success, if you invest a weekend implementing your million dollar funding formula at this boot camp, right? Even, at, even in your own home, but if you if you will invest this weekend, I'll make you the deal of a century. I will take that $3,994 and I will let you attend this entire weekend for 97 bucks. Holy shit. Sorry. <laughs> is, that, is that okay, guys? Yeah, that's great. Is that, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. We should pay $3,994, but 
you get to attend in your underwear or now, hey, with the difference you're saving, fly out to Salt Lake City and join us. Uh, we'll, we'll take you live, but you get to be in person or uh, uh, online and do this for $97. Is that okay? Any, any hands being raised there? Is that okay? Thumbs up there online, guys? Yeah, getting a few wows, definitely. Come on, 97 bucks. Wow. Then I thought, okay, what else? What else do you need to do more faster? So some of you quick starters, I put together a little a, a bonus package to add on top of this in case you wanted to do more. First of all, uh, there's the insider playbooks. There's the banker's playbook and the credit bureau playbook. I don't care if you guys like these guys or not, but do you know what a playbook is? Yeah. A, if you know what's in the playbook of the opposing team, you will win the game every time. What if you knew the credit bureau playbook? What if you knew the um, banker's playbook? What if you knew exactly what they were doing? Now, remember how we talked about the audit? Bonus number two. Bonus number two is what if I gave you disputes so that when you left the intensive, every single thing that you found that was in the way that uh, all of these areas that we cover, what if I gave you all, uh, all of my advanced dispute uh, templates? What if I gave that to you so that not only do you get to audit your profile, but then you can dispute all of those things, the identity, the terminus dates, the, the new rules violations. How would I, if I gave you all that? Would that Bonus number two. Bonus number three. What if I gave you a video recording of the entire two-day event so that just in case you can't drink water fast enough out of this fire hose, <laughs> what if you could go back and listen to it again or slower and take more notes and do everything that we've talked about? Would that, would that be okay? Where you had access to it. And what if I gave you lifetime access to our Funding Hackers Club, our private group on Facebook? What if I added all of that to it? So there's $97 for the silver level. What if I put all of those bonuses together, the lender, the playbooks, the dispute templates, the two-day recording, the value is $6,085. And what if it were a, a, a buck 97? Wow. To be able to get the recording and listen and, and, and commune with other funding hackers in our private, in our private group. Then every once in a while, somebody says, well, I want, I, I want, to, I, I want the most that I could possibly get. That's going to launch me. That's going to let me to do all of this as fast as I possibly can. So the platinum level is bonus number five, a fundability strategy session with me. Normally I charge uh, $2,000 for somebody to spend an hour in strategic planning. And I've literally saved protected uh, people that don't have to be my client to be, to, to, to buy my time to help guide through various deals. Right. In fact, I'll tell you about uh, a little bit later about the guy, uh, uh, our last testimony of the evening did exactly, exactly this and became a fan. What if I gave you that $8,082 value four ninety seven and I, you get everything, all the other bonuses, all the masterclass, the two day intensive, the recordings and everything, but you will also get a strategy session with me. You get whatever you want during that hour is yours. I'll answer questions. I'll help you strategize. I'll give you a, a line of sight for what you need to do. That's, those are the three packages, the silver for 97 gold for 197 and 497. If you would want all of those things, plus uh, an hour uh, with me now imagine your life right now and um, uh, imagine your life right now being able to write a check for fifty thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars two hundred or more how is that going to change your life guys this is crazy now um, and, and um, uh, um, Scott you're putting up um, you're uh, you're putting up the link for the intensive registration I think you have that. Uh, it's at the end as well, so people can come to it. So stay with me, guys. But here's um, it's epicfundingsecrets.com slash fundability intensive. And that uh, fund, uh, excuse me, boot camp slash intensive or dash intensive. Hang on uh, one second. Get... Epicfundingsecrets.com yeah. slash boot camp dash intensive. So it's totally worth 
you guys had said that even just the basic $97 package, that $3,000 is nothing to be able to guarantee what you guys are, are, are creating when it comes to your long-term fundability, right? Now you have two choices. First, do nothing, not take a leap of faith, which is 100% risk-free, or your second option, you can take a leap of faith, just test it out risk-free. And what do I mean by risk-free? Well, what if I told you that you can start the, uh, the, the uh, uh, intensive weekend, if you're not happy with me or what you've learned or our plan for your funding, su end, uh, uh, funding success by the end of day one, I will give you 100% of your money back. No questions asked. Wow. You get to attend the first day free if you don't like it. Buy it, pay for it, and if you don't like it, just tell us, and we'll pull you we'll pull you off the presentation list and give you your money back. Is that fair? Is that fair, guys? That's now, totally, fair. The, totally fair. The real question is: Is it worth gambling a weekend to see how close you are right now to funding? If this does even half of what I've claimed, this is going to pay for itself literally a hundred times over literally well here's some people from the from the boot camp uh, or the funding hackers club uh, uh an email came in just today look at that uh De or december 3rd 2018 good afternoon brad i just wanted to take this opportunity to advise you Merrill, and the entire credit and staff of the following the content Exceptionally powerful. The content was extremely informative, well conveyed, and always to the point. I immensely appreciated the receipt of the funding bootcamp binder and, uh, as it would made it easy to follow the presentations and to take notes. You're getting a PDF. You can print that out, take notes, and make it all happen. I'm pleased with the ability to review the event recordings and have the ability to continue to participate in the Funding Hackers Club. Online Q&A via Facebook platform was a nice touch. Once again, thank you. I look forward to the next step to fundability. Um, well worth the time and cost, um, says Jack. Not cost, investment. Mary Ann, this has been complete eye-opener. I've learned so much about credit. It has helped clarify some issues about what I thought I'd set up wrong, but had no idea how to fix. Very thought-provoking. Jeremy says, the two-day intensive was full of relevant information. Anyone using credit for personal or business should attend. The practical application is a true money saver and credit builder. Thank you for the increased knowledge. And then Tammy goes off. I'll let you read that on your own. It is, she's just talking mind blowing, white hat hacking. You know, she calls it the fun ability. So we put the fun back in funding guys. So here's here, uh, my golden, my, uh, it's not diminutive to call him my golden child guys, but he is so killer in what he's produced michael j since becoming your student i've been successful with securing over two million dollars for my real estate deals i have also been successful with acquiring unsecured business loans in addition to unsecured revolving credit for my business due to what i've learned in your program my real estate portfolio now tops three million dollars and i'm still on my way up thank you for all of your help and i look forward to you helping me as i continue to grow guys this is the gentleman i said that 2000, I literally sat down with him and his banker and we created this amazing pledge loan process where he would have an, uh, an unsecured, no mortgages were involved, an unsecured credit line at 500,000. Within six months, it was at a million. And, uh, and one year later, it was at $2 million when he, fi when he finally wrote this. It was amazing to watch him take the tools that we put together and yeah ask him it was worth every penny he paid for me to be able to be a part of that you get me for two days guys two days so here's the here's kind of the 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 summary 97 197 and 497 now um get get your uh, you need to hurry and reserve your place people say well hold it you could do 300,000 people online no the amount of people that my team and I can handle is limited. Seats are limited because we're not going to put 50 people in this room because we need, we want to pay attention to you. We, that's why we do one of these every month, right? So I don't want you to be, to, to miss out 
So we want to be able to, uh, to, to spend our time with each one of our students, even online. We'll have everybody answering questions that are my entire team will be involved in this in this weekend. So epicfundingsecrets.com slash bootcamp intensive. Go there. You can call us at 8, 801-438-9080. That's our uh, that's our student hotline. And you can email us at bootcamp intensive at creditsense.com. That is the that's our big monster play, guys. Go there, register. I don't care which one. Our most popular is the 197 because people get that I'm going to be talking like a madman for two full days, and they need to be able to take a breather and and go through the materials over and over. But I'm telling you, I don't just show up. Change your life. Make something happen. Remember how many of you have seen me before where I've offered huge coaching packages, all kinds of things. But the issue is, is I, I, I can't grow this the movement fast enough. I want you to be able to afford right now, today, be able to change your fundability life. That's what I'm committed to. And back to you, Scott. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Yeah, guys, I posted a link there for you. If you're watching this on YouTube, obviously the link's in there as well, too. It's also been posted to Facebook as well, guys. Take advantage of that stuff. Wow, wow, wow. How many – you have, what, 50 spots available in Salt Lake? Is that correct? Yes. Or less than that because you sold so many seats already. That, that, uh, that's correct. No, fi uh, 50 is what I'm taking for the on, uh, on the online. And okay. then we uh, live, we can have more people uh, – additional people there but online for because we got people everywhere in the country uh, uh, uh no more than 50 people are going to be in there or we won't be able to take care of the folks that's good stuff i'm signing up for this i'm actually gonna do this i have that weekend off actually do it dude you uh, you you think you like how, all the things we talk about now i know dude the totally excited about you're it. gonna come out of this going are you kidding me Meryl where have you been all my life I'll be like we've been doing this for four years now together but uh, but to be fair I've always reserved this for my for my uh, uh, high net worth clients and I've always spent the time and energy just onesie twosie onesie twosie right yeah I want this deserves to get out there mm -hmm. I want you guys to be able to to, to I'm giving you all of the to-do list to become fundable for the rest of your lives. You will get it all. This this uh, this workbook that you're getting, the PDFs that I'm sending you, there's like all over 60 pages of literal tasks and instructions, tasks and instructions, tasks and instructions. Yeah, totally is. Because we've got Laura Blanc and a few other students that were on last month that you did it. Uh, just absolutely raved about it. Absolutely raved and raved around it. We do have a couple questions here. Fire away. Bill Schilling says, if you signed a non-disclosure agreement, how are you giving us this information or is it different information? <laughs> yeah. So what I, you're not, what I can put into my software is not available to the public. You get the results, just like FICO, you get the results of it. Right. You don't get to know what the algorithms look like. Does that make sense? So yeah, makes sense. all the things I'm talking about is just me doing the math. If I could, so I'll, I'll give you a perfect example. Great example. So, so somebody, um, when I'm talking to Ethan, who is the chief scientist on the personal side, right? It was one of those pictures that I showed you. And, and so one of my questions was, all right, so I know that zero balances are not the best for fundability. Can you tell me what the perfect balance is for a user. And he goes, I can't tell you what that formula is. What I can tell you is some is better than none. Less is better than more. Now, the funny thing was, is it just, he just confirmed what I'd already been working on because we put together our own formula because 10,000 credit profiles and working for 20 years in this business, I was able to narrow it down. I asked him for it. He gave me the confirmation. I knew, I knew some was better than none. And we actually have in our software uh, the, the a proprietary calculator to tell you exactly how much to, to carry on each type of uh, of each one of your revolving accounts and how to pay for it or and how to pay it every single month. So you create the, the highest um, the highest uh, uh, fundability factor when you're creating your profile. So. 
that's a perfect example of what to do, 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 what to do. So great question. That uh, the NDA is about the technical details of what we can put in our software versus what I can't walk out and say, oh, by the way, this yeah. uh, thing is a thing. Yeah, can't do that. Uh, let's see, Jason Lewis is awesome online on, on YouTube. Let's see here. Uh, can you go over what's included in the three levels again? So is, is 97 just the online? Or yeah, the let me, in fact, course? let me go. Let me go back there. Okay, so 97 is the two-day event where we're going to cover all of this, and you get the 60-plus page, right? It's like 66 pages of the, the workbook PDF that will be emailed a couple of days before, okay? That's 97. The 197... Is has all of the bonuses listed here. Bonus one, Lender Credit Bureau uh, Insider Playbook, the advanced strategy templates, the intensive recording, and lifetime access to the Funding Hackers Club. That's the one night. So you get the master classes above and those four bonuses for 197. That's the gold package. And then, so silver, gold, and then the platinum is all for the master classes, the, the full two day event, plus all of the bonuses, plus bonus number five is you get a, a fundability strategy session. You get one hour with me to do, to do, to spend it however is going to make you the most fundable. I can help you with your strategies. I can answer questions for you. However, that is, that's the 497. Wow. Any other questions? No, that's phenomenal. And then let's see here. Uh, yeah, actually one more question. Uh, well, first of all, Laura said the, the videos are vital because the intensive is really intensive. Exclamation <laughs> point, exclamation point. Laura, <laughs> Laura, I love you. I love you. Y yes, I'm telling you. I, I, I'm, I, and notice I didn't put it halfway between. It's on the lower side of halfway between, uh, you know, the 500 bucks and 100 bucks, right? Yeah. But for 200 bucks, guys, you can stop and do the math or do the figuring or look it up or go to the website and do it and then turn the video back on. So thank you, Laura. Uh, it's the most popular, right? It's the most popular. Me personally, I like to spend time with myself, so I'd pay the four, the 500 bucks. But <laughs> <laughs> Brian asked a question because we got some people on here with business partners in different parts of the country. So he goes, my business partner and I are, are in separate locations. Could we simultaneously watch the intensive or just one of us? Would we no, need to sign up for the 197 each or would, would it work for one for us? Yeah. So what you can do is in your in your partnership, and what we call a partnership is bed, blood, and uh and um banking account. Yeah, and banking account. But bed, blood, or oh, there's another one. Damn, I can't even remember it. But um a bed bl blood or business. Bed, blood, or business. But one of you can buy the 97, and one of you can buy the 197. And then you can share the recording, but you have, to, but, uh, but well, you're, you're invited on actually. Yeah. That sometimes that's difficult because you're invited to the, to the uh, funding hackers club on your Facebook. So uh, we prefer everybody to just, it's so inexpensive. Everybody just buy it, but that hat, but, uh, but husbands and wives have done that. In your separate locations, I'd probably recommend the two 197s so you each access through your own Facebook. Yeah. But I'll, I'll let you guys figure that out. But don't bring strangers in or whatever. Be honorable with me, and I promise I will always be honorable with you. What are the hours of the two days? Okay, so it's so that we can honor, uh, so that we can take care of our California clients on Saturday and Sunday. Um, it's 9 a.m. Mountain, so it's 8 a.m. Pacific. And 11 a.m. in um, 11 a.m. Yeah. in Eastern, and then it will go until we're finished. I I've pushed this thing until six o'clock, seven o'clock Mountain Time. So that could be eight o'clock or nine o'clock. Um, it uh, uh, plan for the weekend. Don't go out. You're not going out on Saturday night. You're not going to feel like it. You're going to be lying exhausted in your chair. Um, <laughs> but it starts at 9 a.m. each day. 9 a.m. mountain time. 
and and I will keep going until you guys are exhausted. Because as you can tell, I love this stuff. And mm-hmm. if you want it, I'm going to keep the fire hose on. Yes, I love it. I, I'm seriously, I'm going to be here. I'm going to sign up for this thing. And definitely, that's awesome, dude. So freaking awesome. And it's, it's delivered via Zoom. You use the same technology they're watching tonight, correct? Yeah, um, actually, whether it's Zoom, Facebook, uh, it, it it will be uh, available uh, in those formats. Yeah, perfect, perfect. What other questions do you guys have? Like he said, getting started at 9 o'clock Mountain Time. That's 8 o'clock on the West Coast. That's going to be 11 o'clock on the East Coast. So it gives you some time to get some things done. 10 a.m. Central, that's perfect. I can be up in here rolling, <laughs> rocking and rolling along here on a Saturday in my office here. Because I'm at the house, I'm going to be too distracted. <laughs> yeah, guys, I promise you, you're going to want to pay attention. We did have some feedback from a couple of people who are online that thought, yeah, I can have this on in the background. And they were lost within the first 20 minutes. They're like, holy hell, I don't – well, where are we? We're back on FICO? Okay, talk to me. And I'm not just giving you the BS – tech stuff. I'm going to show you how to buy a car and save money, how to how mortgages are designed to 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 limit. I am going to show you so much. Oh, my God. I'm going to show you so many things that will blow your mind. So please tell your friends about this. We also have a um, put up the link. Um, um, I guess you've got the replay here. I was going to say, we've got a web class on Thursday if they want to attend there, or they can just w- watch your, bring your friends, family, your business partners, guys, have them watch this. Or if they trust you, just get them signed up so that we can all get moving on this because 2019 is going to be an amazing funding year for everybody who's willing to, 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 get started get make this thing happen i i'm going to give you things you you didn't even how many of you learned something new tonight or five things that were brand new you've never heard in your entire life but totally makes sense anybody yeah i mean i've everybody should have learned so i see people on here haven't been on in a while which is great maybe it's from the title of the email but you learn something new <laughs> and like, are you I, effable or just f don't be f guys be fundable be fundable. And here's the thing. I have some people who've already, who've signed up for the class and they've told us that they are in, uh, that they just want, they don't have a business, but they learn so many things just to help them be, to, to be smart, make smart business decisions for the, or smart credit decisions for the rest of their lives. They now know how to buy a car. Every time they get a car, they know how to not, how, Credit uh, our our dealers live off the spread. They they do deals off of your credit score spread, guys. I'm going to show you how they do it and how to stop it. It's going to be so fun. Oh my gosh, such good stuff! I'm so looking forward to this. Literally signing up. <laughs> Literally, as you're talking in the background there. Let's see what other questions we got. Yeah, I'll what other questions? So you can keep enrolling, right? Uh-huh. Exactly. Alan asked the question, can you deal with credit unions instead of banks when you want to? Oh, absolutely. Uh, credit unions are a, a powerful ally. Um, they, they, because they are not, they're regulated by the uh, NACUA, the NACUA, yeah. um, National Association of uh, Credit Unions. There are different underwriting criteria. And so you just have to know the rules of that game if you're going to play in the credit, credit union land. Um, we found our highest producing um, lenders are all tier two banks right now. Uh, mm-hmm. It used to be community banks. And uh, a year ago, two years ago, if you saw me, we were talking about community banks and and um, uh, credit unions. But now tier two banks are killing it. We've got a couple of banks. They're all in different states. So I can't say that you're going to get one of these. But there are some banks, guys, that will literally show you how uh, or they they go all the way up to a hundred grand in stated, hundred wow. grand. That means they're using your personal damn credit profile to to for funding purposes. Now you just gotta align your personal profile so you look like a credit god, and then you got or goddess, and you got and you got it dialed. Good stuff. Well, I'm signed up, which is great. So I'll get on my FICO my FICO three B report as well. PDF for that. 
Your email already kicked in. Yeah, we're going to send you, everybody who's signing up, we're going to be sending you um, a, a set of instructions and how to prepare. You're going to be getting a credit report. We want that credit report done about the week before. So you'll be getting that message like on Monday the 4th or Tuesday the 5th. You pull your credit report and then there's an audit you do at home. It's a, There's a video. We walk you through it so that you can audit that because we need you to come to the presentation with your with your credit report and the form filled out so that we can move into to make sure you do your prep work before we had people saying oh yeah i'll just do it when i'm there and they were just dying on a vine and i will not answer homework questions when you're supposed to do it at home amen i will not answer those questions i'll be like oh bummer dude sorry you're gonna have to watch the uh you're gonna have to do all of this uh, you're uh, do this offline we're moving forward because we have a pace to keep so that i can make sure you have all the tech you need to be fundable for long term okay mm -hmm. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> i got an email from brooke as well wow man you guys are f fast on here with opt-ins that's good stuff good stuff <laughs> Literally, hang on. Are you? Uh, want we? Uh, can you stop sharing your screen real fast here? Yeah. So, all right. So, literally, you'll see right here. Boom. Let me share my screen here, so people can see here. Oh, I'm stopping share. Yeah, stop, stop sharing. There we go. All right. Let me pull my video up here, just so you guys see. Literally, I'm not just bullshitting here. Literally, my inbox here, right there. Brooke Cannon. Congratulations. Let's get ready here. Prepare for all that we need to bring. Three reminder, place your credit reports and prep work in. Great. We'll current entities worksheet. Man, this is awesome. And so you got all the stuff here. Stuff. Boom. Oh, yep. So basically everything came in there. That's good. All right there, everybody. Hey, I'm doing it online from here. I'm not flying to Salt Lake. It's going to be a little warmer here than it'll probably be up there. <laughs> right? Hey, but I would have you if you came. I would have you if you came. I would be glad to be there. Just to... I'm not, but literally, I'm not. That's the beautiful thing. I love doing this. This is so smart. Doing it online for everybody there, East Coast, West Coast, everywhere in between. Meryl, just absolutely awesome. And you were very like Laura. I think Laura did hers online as well last time. She said the videos were critical. All jacked up, brother. All jacked up. Yeah, do make it. Oh my god, just spend a hundred bucks, guys, and spend a hundred bucks. And then it, if you want to uh, upgrade and get it, you can uh, you can follow that link and upgrade anytime to pick up the recordings. Just register, attend, and buy the recordings. If you don't know that you would use the recordings, then just do it. Uh, just go for for the ninety seven dollars, get the taste of it, and then upgrade to the to get the recording. Awesome. It's a, and, and one thing too, guys, out there, one of the big things I learned a couple weeks ago, we were talking on the, the no closure. You're talking about, hey, you've helped people that have judgments from foreclosures or things that happened to them years ago that you were able, still able to get them funding and things like that and working with them over a period of time. Right, Meryl? Absolutely. Absolutely. There are ways there. See, it's about fundability, not just your score. We, we, have, we have one client, funny, the funniest thing, she, she still has... A, a couple unpaid collections and her profile and score are in the 800s mm -hmm. and she still has a couple of unpaid collections that haven't been deleted yet and mm -hmm. she's literally like this is crazy i didn't even think this thing was possible so <laughs> we you have there will be there are long-term solutions guys to all of these tasks that we'll be giving you in the fundability intensive all right and yes gail Meryl talks just a little fast. You do get the videos for the 197. <laughs> you get the bonuses. Uh, now, oh. We got a question here. It's a very important question, though. Castle says, while I have an LLC academically, if one wanted to accomplish this in a sole proprietorship, is that available? Is that viable? A, no, a sole proprietorship is an alter ego. Yep. So a corporation, but but don't do anything until the intensive where you learn what the rules are and then we can take the square pegs around holes. How many situations, how many testimonials did I talk to you? How many case studies where we talked about square pegs and round holes? So you're in a situation right now, we will solve that when once we know the things that you're going to be filling out as part of your prep work for to, to get us ready for the intensive. Right. So once again, let's see here. If I have the website back up here. Oh, hang on here. I'm going back and pulling the website up for everybody to see. Once again, the website is 
epicfundingsecrets.com slash bootcamp dash intensive. All right. Let me pull this up here one more time. Share my screen so everybody sees the page it'll take you to. This is what it looked like. Epicfundingsecrets.com bootcamp slash intensive. You'll get down here. Click on a video replay, then you can hear either you're going to attend in person, click there, or click here, register now. Very simple to do. Yeah, it could do the green. I had somebody, okay, I got to tell you, great story. So I talked to a guy, he says, yeah, I can't wait. And I called him because he's in Louisiana, and, and he said, yeah, I'm going to be attending, but he bought the live ticket. And I'm like, well, okay, what, what, what the devil, what, what's going on? You know, this is Salt Lake City. And he goes, yeah, I'm an over the road trucker and I'm just going to route my, I'm going to route some of my deliveries so I can spend the weekend there. I'm like, I love you already. This is what I call dedication. I am going to take that gentleman to lunch because that is what I call dedication. You guys are welcome to come out, but I'm telling you that I love that guy was awesome. Now you will, is there an hour lunch break? So people- yes. Okay. All right. There will be an hour lunch break. Take a nap. You know, take a <laughs> take a run an errand or two, or go grab a sack lunch and come on back. Stretch your legs. <laughs> exactly. Cool. Well, I have it on the calendar. I'm excited about it. So, uh, yeah, I, see. I see your I see your registration here. Hey, Scott Carson's uh, crew, man. If he's going to be there, he's going to be leading the Scott Carson cohort in the online crew. So you guys make sure get registered. Like I said, do the 97 and upgrade later. If you don't, if it, if you don't, <laughs> the first hour you're going to be upgrading just so you make sure that you have the recordings. <laughs> just that what Laura said. She, she, it's no joke. No, who was it? Yeah, Laura. yeah, it was Laura. Says you, the, 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 yeah, the, the uh, three points of vinyl. Alan asked a question: What are hotel prices like in South? Lake? You have a room block somewhere in a hotel nearby there. I, I, I do not, but usually there, uh, there's depending on your budgets. There's anything from the the eighties and ninety dollars to the three hundred dollars, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna be in downtown Salt Lake City, but it's super easy, super easy access. We're on North Temple. Um, and if you, you can email me and say, I'm coming uh, there and I can give you the address of the place and you can find local. Uh, we didn't have a, a room block because I'm not counting on, you know, hundreds of people coming, uh, coming live, but you are certainly welcome. Now you're not to see what uh, temple, how far are you from the Wabash brewery? Oh, the Wabash brewery, probably, yeah. uh, eight minutes, nine minutes. Okay. Yeah. See, they come there. Before they go back to the hotel and go down to the Wabash Brewery, have some great chicken wings and have a uh, a pint of polygamy porter. Take some home to all your wives is the slogan. Yeah, polygamy porter. Welcome to Utah. <laughs> 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 yeah, we would love to. We would love to have you come um, live, guys, um, because you know the interaction is a little bit different than uh, than online. But for the savings, for the yeah. savings of. Not, Three thousand dollars, which it's worth every penny for a buck ninety-seven or whatever. Come, just come on and and hang out with us for the weekend. That's good stuff, uh, guys. There's no any other questions. We see people kind of uh, running in there. Meryl, once again, thank you for over delivering, man. I mean, <laughs> your promise over delivered as always. So, thank you. And I, I I've said it a dozen times, but. Talk about over delivery. Just bring your flak jacket for for the intensive. Online doesn't matter. In, in person, it's awesome. There so, you go. Perfect. Hey, thanks for the invite tonight. Great guys, it's been great spending the time with you. I love uh, Scott and I love his people, and you guys are superheroes. So I just like to get to know you more. Come, come and visit us, or at least join us online because it's going to be super interactive, just like this. Super interactive, but with a crap load of of uh, of details. Perfect. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Well, Meryl, have a great okay. evening, bud. We'll, I'll see. You. I'll talk to you tomorrow or the next day. But once again, guys, February eighth and 9th, right? Or ninth and ninth and tenth, Saturday and Sunday. Yep, ninth and tenth, Saturday, Sunday. Get get signed up. You will not regret it. Trust <laughs> me. As he said, come the first day, don't like it. Easy to just walk yep. away. No no questions asked. After right? that first day, you can either buy ninety seven. First day, you either get your money back 
or you upgrade to the recording because you can't you can't learn that fast. <laughs> exactly. Now it doesn't mean if you buy them don't show up because they can see who shows up. All right. But if you don't, yeah, show up. Yeah, what? there are no refunds. You're telling me you're serious. There are no refunds. I'm gonna take your money if you don't show up. But the cool thing is about the 97, people do this on uh, the 197, is you don't even have to go. If you're busy on the 9th and 10th, just buy the 197 and on the eleventh, I ship it to you. You're ready to go. Yep. Okay. Good stuff, man. All right, man. Thanks, Thanks. for the invite. Your Thanks, brother. You're, you're always a blast. Your people are great. So be well, guys. Thanks, we'll Tony and Laura and Gail. Uh, Meryl talks a little fast. Do we get videos for 197? Yes. I'm from the South. We listen slowly. Yes, darling. I, you get, vid get the videos. Um, yeah, Laura, Scott, all of you. CW, you be well. Sweet, man. We'll see you later. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Note Night in America. Once again, take advantage of the special that he's offering. Like, hey, sign up for 97. We want to break the videos at that time. Do that. Pay the extra hundred bucks and get that there. But get signed up now. And understand, hey, if you got to wait till the first when your check comes in, that's fine. Just save the link. Save the link and get signed up. If you joined us late, don't worry about it. We'll get the replay out as well. It is already, uh, as soon as I finish, uh, hit record, it'll be live on YouTube. And we'll get an email link out to everybody as well, too, on uh, Tuesday. But otherwise, have a great evening. And we'll see you all at the top, everybody. Bye.